Hi, I'm Steve Amstrup with the U.S. Geological Survey in the Alaska Science Center in Anchorage, Alaska. I've been in charge of polar bear studies in Alaska for the last 29 years. And this has been a really exciting job. It's hard to imagine anything that could be more exciting as a career than going out and studying polar bears. Every spring we go out onto the sea ice and catch polar bears and the first bear of the season is always a, wow, there's a real wild polar bear. It's, it's just an incredible experience. Along with that experience has been the opportunity to observe the Arctic in a major process of change. Uh, the, the Arctic is a different world than it was in 1980 when I first started going up there. The sea ice retreats way offshore in the summertime, whereas uh, it used to be right along the shore. We could see seals and polar bears from land periodically out on the sea ice right from shore. Now the sea ice is several hundred miles offshore at its maximum retreat in the summer. The ice comes back, it retreats earlier in the year and it comes back later in the year. Uh, our findings are showing that this is having a profound effect on polar bears. We're seeing poor survival of young. We've got several publications now that have alluded to that. We've seen major retreats, not just in sea ice, but in the sea ice that's preferred by polar bears. And uh, major changes in the distribution of polar bears, whereas polar bears used to hang out in that near shore ice all summer long, now they retreat way off into the distant pack ice where we think they're relatively food deprived. We know that the ocean way offshore is, is very unproductive. We think that their access to seals is relatively low. Seals are their principal source of food. And so we think that that explains part of what we're seeing in the changes in the population structure, sizes of animals and things like that. Another thing that we're seeing is more and more bears getting stuck on land in northern Alaska. And when they're on land, unless they happen upon the remains of a beached marine mammal or something like that, they're also food deprived. And so we've got animals that historically had the opportunity to feed throughout the summer are now food deprived for much of the summer. And we've got studies undergoing to try and figure out how this is affecting them. But broadly, it looks like it's affecting them in terms of body stature and survival.